Hello guys, welcome to our channel today. The channel is Nazvi. And kindly if you have not subscribed, I want really to encourage you to subscribe because that's the best way in which you can always support us. Today we're going to talk about something also very important in our lives. Uh, we're going to talk matters food and I'm going to talk about the 12 uh, foods which you, uh, we, which you must eat to make your body health. The 12 foods or the 12 must eat foods uh, which you should always, uh, the foods we should always eat. If you've seen from uh, my previous videos, I've done a lot of videos on food. The foods, the foods you should avoid, the foods you should take when you have various conditions. And from our previous one, it's about uh, the, the, the foods which you should avoid if you are, or the foods which you should avoid if you don't want to develop what you call dementia. So guys, sit back and welcome. By liking the video, you get uh, YouTube to recommend us to a larger population so that the basic information such as this can really reach a lot of uh, people so that we can get uh, that uh, support and also help and also the, the, such people can get this kind of information so that uh, we get to share the best with, uh, with other people. So guys, eating or eating uh, is very critical. So eating a variety of nutrient dense foods really can, uh, uh, can help uh, for maintaining uh, optimal health. And when we talk about uh, maintaining optimal health, so I'm going to mention the 12 health foods, the 12 healthy foods which uh, are widely recommended for their benefits. And this is based on uh, scientific studies and also uh, researches which has been, uh, been done. Uh, this is where also we come at the, with the classification of foods such as uh, dash foods uh, and also Mediterranean foods so that uh, you get to maintain the best and also get to get the best out of uh, uh, all the foods which can really uh, promote uh, your health as uh, much as possible. So guys, sit back and welcome. And number one uh, food is uh, leafy greens. When we talk about the leafy greens, uh, the leafy greens are very consistent with uh, from our previous video when we talk about the sources of uh, various minerals and also the content antioxidants. So leafy green uh, 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 foods such as, uh, example, is the spinach, kale, Swiss uh, uh, card or chard is also very very important because the benefit they have they are, they are high in vitamin A vitamin C and also K and the minerals like uh, iron, calcium. I've done uh, various videos on iron and calcium. You can go back to our videos and watch, watch them. Also rich in antioxidants and also fiber at that particular point. So uh, the leafy greens, example like uh, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, uh, uh, they highly contain this uh, uh, vitamin A. Uh, vitamin C, vitamin K, iron and calcium, and also uh, antioxidants and uh, fiber at the particular point. Number two is, uh, when we, is, uh, is berries. It's also very healthy to take berries. So when we talk about the berries, we're talking about blueberries. We're talking about uh, uh, strawberries. We're talking about raspberries, so which are very critical in our, in our body. So they, the benefit they give our bodies they are packed with antioxidants, they, have, they contain a level of vitamins which are very vital for the body, they have good fiber and they support brain health and also they reduce inflammation and those are the, the things we need especially the support of the brain and the reduction of uh, uh, inflammation is very key in our body. Number three is fatty fish and when we talk about fatty fish we know of mackerel, sadness and also salmon we talked about this also in our previous video about calcium. These fish are also very high in this. Uh, this. So uh, fatty fish, mackerel, salmon, and also sadness, they really contain high level of uh, omega-3 fatty acids in these objects. So which uh, the, the omega-3 fatty acids are very essential for heart, brain health, and they provide high quality uh, proteins for our body. So 
the fatty fish, mackerel, salmon, and also sadness, very important for our body. Nuts and seeds are also very health. Example, like almonds, we talk about walnuts, we talk about chia seeds, we talk about flax seeds, uh, we talk about uh, Brazilian nuts, they are very key in our body because the benefit they give us is uh, they are rich in fats, they are rich in proteins, they are rich in fiber, the vitamins, and also minerals, we support health and also uh, and they reduce inflammation at the end of the day in our body. So these are very key aspects in which we can always uh, approach so that uh, we get to take those nuts and seeds. And we, so we give this, uh, 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 we, this variety of uh, nuts and seeds because depending on where you are from, this can uh, really help. Let me know where you are watching the video from. If you, uh, you, you have almonds, if you have walnuts, if you have chia seeds and also flax seeds, or you have the Brazilian nuts that are very key also in our body. Very important also, number five is whole grains. And when we talk about whole grains, we're talking about what you call quionia. Quionia is Q-U-I-O-N-O-A, quionia. We are talking about brown rice as a whole grain. We are talking about oats. So depending on where you are coming from, let me know the variability of these whole grains in your, in your place. So quionia, brown rice and oats are examples. These whole grains, they contain high level of fiber, uh, B vitamins, they contain mineral like magnesium. I ever did a video on magnesium, kindly if you have not watched about magnesium, you can also watch it where we talked about their sources and their benefits in our, in our body. So they, they normally whole grains, they help to regulate blood sugar and also uh, supports digestive health. So if your focus is on regulating blood sugar and also support digestive health, which are very key in our body, it is very important that you get to take uh, this uh, whole grain thing, which can really help us in a very uh, critical way. Also, very important, when we talk about uh, another level, number six, we talk about legumes. And when we talk about legumes or legumes, depending on how you pronounce it, legumes or legumes is very key, which can really help us uh, to, to get to that health levels. So legumes, we talk about things like lentils, we're talking about chickpeas, we're talking about uh, 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 black bean, beans, it, which are very key. So the benefit they give us, they are excellent sources of uh, plant-based proteins and proteins are very essential for making of the enzymes and also the proteins in the body. Fiber and other essential nutrients like iron and also folate which are contained in these legumes. So don't miss the legumes in your diet. Number seven is what you call cruciferous uh, vegetables. When we talk about cruciferous vegetables, we are talking about uh, things like broccoli, we talk about uh, Brussels sprouts, we we'll talk about cauliflower, which is very essential. These are very good because the benefit we get from them, they contain high level of vitamin C, uh, which is very essential for to build our immunity. They contain vitamin K, which is also has a very key role in uh, our, our blood and also building our blood and also the clotting factors in our body. Fiber, which is very good in uh, absorbing and also and also making our GI system or digestive system health. Also potassium. Potassium is very key in regulating our uh, level of uh, also regulating our blood pressure and also other healthy benefits. Also vitamins, which, they contain, which can also be very, very important. Now these compounds have a preventive uh, properties uh, for cancer. They, it has been, these are from the studies. So it's very important that you get to get these cruciferous, uh, cruciferous uh, vegetables such as broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, and also cauliflower in your diet. Number eight, very key, and uh, this is a very common uh, fruit here in Africa. Sometimes back it was brought by Europeans, but nowadays it's even uh, uh, being planted for export. So it's very key that uh, you get to eat the avocados. Avocados are very key. 
they are rich in monosaturated uh, fats, which is health, and also they contain high fiber, they contain vitamin C and B6 and the potassium, which are very key in our body. And these particular videos, I have done them already on uh, vitamin C, on uh, vit fiber. You can watch our previous videos and find out their benefits in our body. So in this uh, context, they contain high level of vitamin C, B6. They contain what we call uh, monosaturated fats, which are very healthy in our body. And they, they provide a satiating energy source. So they are very healthy in providing our body with that healthy energy. So number, eight, number nine, we talk about sweet potatoes. Sweet pota potatoes, sweet potatoes, they are very key. Where because they contain high beta carotene, and when we talk about beta carotene, we are talking about vitamin A. We talk, they I contain high level of fiber. They contain vitamin C. They contain vitamin B6, which is very key also in our body, and also supports the they they, they contain also potassium, which supports yeah, they they also support uh, matters, uh, especially the beta carotene. Vitamin A is very good in uh, vision or making our eyes health so it's very important and also it will also be get to build our immunity so when you talk about sweet potatoes they are very high in vitamin a they are high in fiber vitamin uh, they contain vitamin c and b6 potassium which at the end of the day supports the vision and also immune health number nine number ten is what we call greek yogurt greek yogurt uh, so Greek yogurt normally it's a high it's high in protein. It also contains a special thing called probiotics, so calcium and also vitamin B, so, so which supports uh, the digestive health and also bone health at the end of the day. Number eleven is a very common vegetable uh, or a combination or a spice uh, that other people use as a spice that others use it as a combination of their foods. So garlic is very also very beneficial because it contains what you call alcin, and alcin is a, which has, is a, it has a antimicrobial and is a, it works as an antibiotic and also a natural antibiotic and also anti-inflammatory uh, properties which are the garlic. This way they support the immune functions and also cardiovascular health. And when we talk about cardiovascular health, we are talking about your heart health. So it is very key in our in our body. So and also we talk about uh, the number twelve. We talk about uh, uh, what you call turmeric. Turmeric. I've ever done uh, a video on turmeric. Kindly, if you have not watched it, you can search on it, Nazvin, and also find out uh, what is happening there. Let me find. Uh, let me see your comments on the this video on turmeric. How you find it very beneficial or it is, uh, and also how you are supposed to use it. Uh, it's, it's a nice video, it has a lot of views. Kindly go back to our video, Nazvin channel, and also watch on turmeric. So turmeric contains calcium, uh, uh, contains what you call uh, uh, cascam, or cacamine, sacamine, so depending on how you pronounce it. It contains sacamine, so a powerful anti-inflammatory anti anti and also antioxidant compound which supports the joint health and also may reduce the risk of chronic illness. So turmeric, when taken in uh, moderation, is very key so that you get to keep your health, of, uh, especially joint health. When we talk about joint health, we're talking about bone health. It promotes your bone health and also may reduce the risk of uh, chronic diseases. So. When you incorporate these uh, nutrient-dense foods into your diet, it can provide a wide range of uh, health benefits, which are very key in our body. So from supporting the heart and the brain, and also digestion, and also reducing the inflammation, guys, at the end of the day. So we should aim at balanced diet, and also varied diet, to ensure you get a comprehensive mix of the nutrients. So it's very key, guys on how you manage your foods is very key. So when you manage a, a healthy diet, it includes the top health foods, which involves a lot of key strategies to ensure that you are getting 
the maximum benefits from these nutrient uh, dense options and how you can effectively manage your diet to get the tw these 12 essential th foods in your in your diet is about number one is about planning and preparation which is very key meal planning is very key plan your meals for for a week uh, to include variety of top health foods that's very key guys this will help ensure a balanced intake of uh, nutrients as appropriate also grocery shopping is very key make a list of based on your meal plan and stick to to it focus on fresh uh, produce also whole grains lean proteins and also healthy fats at the end of the day uh, and also what you call batch cooking is very key where you prepare meals in advance to save time during a week and reduce the temptation to choose such food is very key where you get to choose your foods very well so that uh, you get uh, uh, back cook batch cooking is very key where you prepare your meals in advance when you have time so that you reduce uh, the temptation to choose lesser health options number two is about to incorporate variety where you rotate foods including different foods into each category rotate between leafy greens berries and whole grains to ensure a wide range of uh, nutrients Try new recipes is very key also. Experiment with the new recipes to keep meals interesting and uh, enjoyable at the end of the day. Also guys, very key is uh, where you get to uh, get to a balanced meals, where you get portion control, where ensure that your meals have the right portions of proteins, carbohydrates and healthy fats. Use the plate method where you half of the plate with the vegetables, a quarter with the lean uh, protein and a quarter with the whole grain sort of starchy vegetables. So this uh, portion control, half plate of uh, vegetables, a quarter of lean proteins and also and a quarter with the whole grain or starch vegetables is very key to ensure that you get uh, that health, uh, uh, that healthy foods as appropriate. Also very key guys, it's very important that you get to uh, on these healthy foods, you get to uh, uh, also on the snacks, choose healthy snacks such as nuts, uh, seeds, fruits and yogurt to maintain energy levels and avoid unhealthy choices guys at the end of the day. Cooking methods is also very key where you get healthy cooking technique is very key. Use method like steaming, grilling, roasting and stir frying instead of frying to preserve nutrients and reduce unhealthy uh, fats. Also very key is about uh, uh, limit processed foods, avoid or minimize highly processed foods that are often high in unhealthy fats, uh, sugars and uh, sodium. These are things like sodas and also the chips things, the fried things, the fast foods actually sometimes they are not held at that particular point. Number five, hydration is very key. Drink water uh, and uh, drink water, stay hydrated by drinking uh, plenty of water throughout the day. So herbal teas, water, uh, where and uh, water-rich foods like cucumbers and also watermelon are also very helpful. So th these foods are very key where you where you get to hydrate yourself very well, so that you limit uh, the, the the other part of it. Also, mindful eating is another strategy which you can employ uh, in managing your diet. Pay attention to anger cues. Uh, eat when you are angry and stop uh, when you are satisfied to prevent overheating. So guys, you are encouraged not to uh, overeat. So eat when you are angry, not just eat for the sake of, uh, of it. Eat slowly, slowly is very key, very key. Take time to enjoy your meals is very key, where which uh, this can help also digestive enzymes to get really to the food and also digest the body. The, the food which can help your body too, so, so at the end of the day. Regular exercise is very key also. Physical activity, combine healthy diet with regular uh, physical activity. Aim to at least 150 minutes of a moderate uh, intensity exercise per week, including aerobics and also strength training exercises. Also monitor and adjust appropriately. And when we talk about uh, uh, this, uh, track your progress, Keep food diary or use an app to track your food uh, intake and make adjustments as, as much as needed to meet your nutritional goals. 
uh, so track your progress is very key. Also consult professionals, seek advice for nutritionists or dietitians uh, to tailor your diet to your specific needs and also healthy conditions. Also, it's very key to have that uh, plan uh, where you what you eat for breakfast is very key. For example, you may decide for breakfast you may have uh, Greek yogurt with mixed berries and drizzle of honey, whole grain toast and avocado and a poached egg for breakfast. Lunch, you may decide to have quinoa salad with spinach, chickpeas, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and also lemon tahini dressing, and a small serving of fruits such as uh, apple or the orange. Also, a snack, handful of nuts. We may, you may say the almond nuts, walnuts, or groundnuts. A piece of fruits like uh, banana also can work as a snack. On dinner, you may, we may, you may decide to have a grilled salmon with side roasted uh, sweet potatoes and steamed uh, broccoli, a mixed green salad with olive oil and vinegar dressing, that is for your dinner. Evening snack, you may decide to have a cup of herbal uh, tea, a small portion of dark chocolate or a few slices of uh, turmeric spiced roasted chickpeas can also uh, work very well. So by following these strategies, uh, and you incorporate this uh, kind of uh, schedule, you have uh, nutrient-dense foods, you can effectively manage your diet, support your overall health and also well-being. So when discussing complications related to diet and nutrition, particularly in the context, context of managing your health and also sp with specific foods, several factors are, are, arise. So you may have nutrient balances, uh, where you, imbalance where you, deficiencies can uh, come up, Overemphasis on certain foods or food groups can may lead to deficiencies. Also, excesses, conversely, excessive consumption of certain nutrients such as fats or sugars can lead to complications such as obesity and also cardiovascular issues at the end of the day. Also, as a complication, digestive issues can come in with the food sensitivities, so it is good to identify the discomfort and allergies to certain foods leading to, to, to bloating, diarrhea, and also gastrointestinal issues. Gut health, poor food choices can disrupt your gut bacteria, impacting digestion and overall health. Metabolic disorders, we may have things like diabetes and also cardiovascular diseases coming in. With diabetes, diet is high in refined sugars and carbohydrates, can exacerbate insulin resistance and also contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes. On cardiovascular diseases, because excessive intake of saturated fats, uh, and the cholesterol can lead to cardiovascular complications including hypertension or coronary artery disease. Weight management, obesity, poor dietary choices such as consuming high calorie, low nutrient uh, diet can lead to weight gain and also uh, obesity which increases the risk of various uh, heart problems. And uh, nutrition, inadequate intake of uh, nutrients can lead to malnutrition, can, be, uh, can lead to that. Also, we have mental health being affected, where mood disorders can come in with imbalanced diet, such as deficiencies of uh, omega-3 fat acids or B vitamins can contribute to mood disorders like depression and anxiety. Cognitive decline, poor diet, including taking over highly processed foods and sugars, has been linked to increased risk of cognitive decline and also dementia at the end of the day. And if you have not watched our video on dementia, I did it kindly uh, watch it. It's a very informative video. Share it widely so that you get uh, us to another level of, uh, over the same. So guys, uh, also eating disorders, we may have uh, things like uh, what you call anorexia and bulimia. Extreme diet practices also can really uh, bring about in including uh, restrictive eating or binge eating can uh, lead to eating disorders uh, that have various uh, serious physical and also psychological effects. Long-term healthy effects, we have things like cancer, certain diet patterns such as high intake of processed meats or low intake of fruits and vegetables may increase your risk of developing certain types of cancer. And these are the things which have been really studied and also they have been seen to really bring a lot of problems. Chronic di diseases like uh, we have hypertension, diabetes, and also cardiovascular diseases due to poor diet at the end of the day. Environmental impact, 
on the sustainability about it, diet is high in processed foods and animal products, often have an environmental footprint, contributing to issues such as uh, uh, climate change and also resource depression at the end of the day. So on managing the complications related with, to diet, balanced diet is very key, regular monitoring and also individualized approach and also lifestyle modica modification is very key to help us get to the level which is needed according to the diet. By being mindful of these potential complications and adopting proactive approach to nutrition and health, individuals can better manage their diet to promote long-term and health and reduce the risk of associated complications. So guys, those are the 12 foods which we need to take which can make our body health. Kindly let me know from the comment down below how the video is, or what you have learned from the video. And if there's something missing in the, the, the video, we can you can always DM us and also so that we get to cover it as uh, well as well as possible because this channel belongs to you, it's not only for me. This way we get to share matters medical in a simple language which you can understand without necessarily using the medical jargon so that uh, you get to understand. You don't need to be a medic to understand what we share in this, in this, in this video. My name is Vincent and I want to welcome you to our next video. And guys, peace, and we love you very much. Thank you, guys.